I am Sir Tap Tap, and this is the expedition event in Abyssrium. Um, one thing, I'm pretty much gonna stop doing written guides for this game. There's just the interest has gotten so low, so few people <laughs> care about this stuff anymore. So I'm just gonna do the video guide, and then on the website, I'm mostly just gonna link to this with some general event info. All the events, the exact same anyway. All they ever do is change the fish. So something a lot of people told me, oh, this one gives you a free in-app purchase fish. Not really. Uh, there's an attendance reward with the silver corgi for logging in for 15 days. Which I'm probably not gonna bother to- oh. Play game for three days. What? It said 15, but that's- that's- that's Abyssrium. Things that don't make any kind of sense and are very confusing at all times, which is really the only reason that the, um, guides are still relevant, so... The biggest thing for that people screw up on in, in any event, number one, if there's a fish that you don't know where to find, it's in here. It's in this icon, the little orange thing. If you need to know, oh, where's the Cupid Puffer, Cerberus Seahorse, all of the past event fish, they're always shoved in here. And just a general note, please like click around the menu and find stuff. <laughs> the, the, the biggest thing that people get messed up on in the events right now is just people not checking out menus and playing the game more or less. Be curious, be interested, look at things, try and figure out what stuff does. Um, second biggest thing people mess up on is the expand items. So there's this separate mission here you gotta do and you always have to do all of these um, I call them expand quests to get the items that you can use and expand and then you're gonna need to take some pictures of these to unlock fish so Familiarize yourself with this menu again. It's all in this event thing, which is a little confusing because there's like 15,000 different things in here now That's right Parker and there's what? So there's like three different attendance rewards going on at once now. That's right Parker. It makes me yawn too That's right That's right. So um, And the other thing people tend to get confused on that's right Parker um, to get started on any event, what you need to do, close the main menu, like here, close, put this close button. That's right, Parker. Click the little palette, scroll, go to the die, just scroll all the way down, oh my gosh, all the way down. Then you get the die, and that unlocks your hermit crab. That's right, Parker. For funsies, we're gonna get the theme and the costume. These are usually required, not always, but they're very cheap and they're permanent unlocks, I strongly recommend just unlocking them. There's really no reason to be fussy about it. So, now we are ready to get started on the event. You can unlock, I don't know why it doesn't auto unlock, but you get the Hermit Crab for free because we got the die. And now you activate the Hermit Crab by clicking all the little bubbles above the fish. Same, every, every event is the exact same now. Since Flare Games took over, the last like 10 plus events, it's all the exact same crap. Even the unlocks are basically the exact same, so there's not there's nothing too interesting going on. But to charge our hermit crab, you just gotta click the bubbles 20 times. Come on, please. Give me the bubbles. I wanna get to the next part of the guide. And then after you charge it with 20 bubbles, which is surprisingly annoying the 15,000th time, after you've done that, you can watch an ad to recharge it. That's really the only way to do it. You just keep watching ads. That's, that's all the events really are. Um, you can upgrade the Hermit Crab by buying lots of event fish. Really, you just kind of want to buy, um, like, 50 of the first event fish. I know it's super boring, but when you get to these later fish, you're going to need to... So you need to buy 100 new event fish. So, you really just want to buy... Oh, this one's the same price. You really just want to buy, like, 100... Well, not 100, but, like, 60 of the first two fish. Because that'll let you upgrade your Hermit Crab. That's right, Parker. So, now that we've done that, we can upgrade the Hermit Crab a bunch. And just trust me, it's worth it. You always need to upgrade the Hermit Crab. It, uh, it, it really pays for itself. So, now let's get on to... Hi, Parker! Um, let's get on to the Event Fish. <laughs> That's right, Parker. So, this guy is just free for an attendance reward thing, apparently. Own five silver corpies or question mark. Can you buy more of this thing? So I guess you I guess you get a couple of them free and otherwise you have to pay for more, I suppose. Hi Parker. That's right. So Adventure Clownfish. Let me see if there's a way to get the bait. Parker. 
for her, please. My cat loves when I'm doing things, so he can interrupt me and stop me from doing things. So let's go through the fish. Adventure clownfish. Standard British explorer outfit. I'm not too big of a fan of the, the fish in a hat costumes, as I've said many, many, many times. This guy's just a bong, so good for him. He doesn't have the little the little exhaust, the little souk pipe, though. Um, no, he's a lanch and he's a good boy. Um, on three uh, adventure clownfish. That one's pretty obvious. I like his design. I like the I like the transparent fish. I like transparent stuff. Adventure football fish. She actually has a light. He actually has like a graphic for the light. So I, I appreciate that. His, I don't like his costume, but I like that otherwise. Watch ad to get compasses three times. So that's just go here, watch this ad at the top for stuff like that. The Hermit Crab technically gives you stuff too, but no, it doesn't count for events for stuff like that. Indigenous sea butterfly, as opposed to, you know, foreign sea butterfly. Um, take one photo of damaged ruins tile extension. So again, anything that says stuff like that, stuff about extension, or it sounds like it's a tile or something, go to the event thing, open this up. It's right here. So damage ruins tile. So you got to do this. So every every event is like five different events crammed into one, and they're always the same event, which translates to me always getting the same question. So if I seem testy with the events, um, you can try getting asked the same question over two hundred times and see how good of a day you're having. <laughs> Chieftain Sea Pig, reach level five Hermit Crab. So we, that's again, you, you want to upgrade your hermit crab no matter what, so that's a free one, more or less. Artifact Dumbo Octopus, place ancient pillar extension one time. Again, that's in the expand quest thing. Totem Seahorse, who just looks like a Tetris piece. Use Song of the Moon ten times to Medusa Axolotl. Again, I say this every time, but please hire literally an editor. It doesn't even have to be a translator. Hire somebody on your team that knows English. It's it's so confusing. So what that means is you need a Medusa Axolotl in your tank. You can get one back here in the little past event fish thing. You need at least one of them in your tank. Then you gotta cast Song of the Moon. That's that skill right here with the moon on it. And do that ten times and then you get the fish. That's right, Parker. That's right. Oh my god. What is that? That... That's like a bootleg Goomba that's like... Terrifying. I hate it. Expedition Gulfport Eel. Own five totem seahorses. So again, just own fish, watch ads, and place um, event things from the events. Expand quests are really the only unlocks that are ever a thing. Create th three Hermes frogs. Adventure penguin. Again, simple stuff. That's right, Parker. Whoa, I like this one. The jellyfish are consistently among the best designs in this game. This guy is a fine boy. Place treasure map and compass extension two times. So what that means is when you unlock something from the expand quest, um, you can buy more of them with pearls. And yes, you have to buy the second one with pearls. You only get one free, so that's right, Parker. Archaeologist crocodile, again, just the same outfit. It's not even, it's not even just that they're the, you know, they're just fish and hats. They have pretty much the same British explorer outfit. I was never a big fan of it anyway. Create three compass jellyfish. Again, just make three fish. It Make three fish. Everything is just make three fish. Archaeologist shark. Literally the same costume as the last one, but he doesn't have a monocle, so he's not as cool. Uh, yeah. Just... Uh, not too impressed by this one. Compass... I'm gonna go ahead and already guess that the compass is the best one. Artifact. Sunfish. He looks like the Aztec rave monkey from, um... From, uh, Yubi Nikki. Love streaming that game, by the way. We're going to play with some more Yumi Tuki at some point. Take one photo of Camping ha Hammock, which, again, that's an expand item. I don't know why they, they, they don't call things expand items consistently, but again, that's because they need it. He's got a scoop out of his back! Ouch. Um, yeah, that's a thing where they need to hire a translator. By the way, if my guides help you out, remember to check out either... Um, you can become a YouTube member, which is the same thing as Patreon now, basically. You just, you know... It's a monthly support thing, you know, give somebody a tip, give a little rewards, so you get a fancy role in my Discord. Or you can support me on Patreon, hopefully everyone knows what that is. Um, just a little monthly, same thing, monthly, give somebody a donation or a tip or whatever you want to call it. 
You get a fancy boy role in my Discord. You support the channel, obviously. That's the main point. Um, you get pictures of my cat who likes to interrupt my videos. Where'd you go? He's done interrupting my video. Um, so just own 13 species of new event fish. Own 100 event fish. That's the same unlock as these always have. Okay, so the griffin... The griffin doesn't tell you how to get it. It's simple enough. I'm trying to do video stuff, honey. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, the griffin, it's in the fusion tab. You just, you need to own two whales and you need to own a buttload of these, uh, currency things. Uh, wait to make the griffin, by the way, because you need to do the big quest event, because that's how you get... I'm so glad they finally split these out a bit better, by the way. Um, took them like four years, but hey. Um, ancient golem dunklio... Stis... I don't know how to say that. Finally, we get like an ancient fish. I've been we've been saying for pretty much four years that hey guys Have a prehistoric have like a Cambrian explosion event, right? Have have a bunch of ancient fish um, Dinosaur fish, you know, that'd be really cool But we can't have nice things can we anyone that's played this game for more than a few months realizes that we really we really can't have nice things It's, it's a shame um, So that's the quest thing so, what the quest is about in the hedgehog thing, that's just a uh, purchase fish. So, um, the quest, there's also this welcome back quest thing, which some people don't seem to have. I don't know how that works, but you get a baby silver corgi if you do all of this crap. It's all listed in game, so I'm not really going to pay much attention to it, but you only have seven days to do it. Um, it's a free event. It's like a free and that purchase ish fish I mean, it's not really an app purchase fish if you can get it for free but you, you know what I mean. um so the big quest is how you get the ancient golem thing um the unlocks are um ready to explore the first tier here own five lantern gobi for the second one here you can see it on screen on three cupid puffers on three cerberus seahorse that's from these are all the last event fish by the way um own three Medusa axolotls, so these are in the past event fish. Um, for tier three, you just need to use 300 sea urchins. Only sea urchins while the thing is unlocked count, so you gotta do these kind of in order, so complete these quests as soon as you can to save yourself some grief. Um, use 300 sea urchins just means you, um, you can just use them on anything. You Check out my farms guide, just search for tap tap farms, you'll find it. Um, but you get sea urchins in the farms menu, and you can just use them on any kind of fusion fish. You will need to use tons of them for the past event fusion fish, so I, I'm, a, I'm kind of stunned that people ask me about this stuff. Because you're the Hermes frog, you need to make three of these. They cost um, 450 urchins. Right there is your unlock. So I'm, I'm kind of stunned people always have trouble with that. Um, own five archaeologist crocodiles is the for the tier four unlock. Five archaeologist crocodiles, five cro archaeologist sharks. So again, just buy five fish. Um, for the last one, you need to make one griffin. Um, I'm not sure if that requires it. Like usually, you need to get to the the step for it to actually count. So if you make a griffin early, you might have to make a, se a second one, and that would really suck butt because. The griffins are crazy expensive, so just play it safe and wait and see. So, that is pretty much all of it. There's this daily check-in thing. There's like multiple of these, but yeah, you get some free fish. These are from past events, and there's some expand items. Um, there's, you just log in once per day, and there usually isn't really any way to cheat these. Um, the time is based on server time. I've seen some people try stuff with... Um, screwing with their time zones back and forth to like go into tomorrow and back into today. You can try that if you want. I'm not going to manually test that for every single event because it's a pain in the butt. But if you want to try that, go ahead. Um, is there another one of these things? A high fish creation. Best name. So you get a little... These, these rewards kind of suck. Um, these are... They made these a lot easier though, but you only have three days to make the whale, which is kind of ridiculous. I am a couple days late to this event just because it's all the same crap. Oh look, my my seahorses have been turned into ashes. That's a shame. That's a shame. 
That's a bug some people seem to get. By the way, if you have that bug where all you see is just purple and a couple bits of seaweed, um, you've got a bug where you have to change your device language to English to play the game. It's really dumb, and I can't believe they haven't fixed it, and it's been a thing for like six months. Anyway, that is the archaeology events. I'm not impressed. Um, <laughs> it's a little less overcomplicated compared to the Halloween event. There's no bingo thing, and you don't have to do an in-app purchase to get a fish. But overall, the, the designs are not too great. I really like that uh, compass boy, though. I'll have to try to get one of those if I can. Um, measure map and compass. I will say, they, they tried to make things simpler by eliminating hidden fish, and it's all way more complicated. It's all the same crap every time, but there's like 10 different menus you have to go through to figure everything out, and it's just a mess. And new players, in particular, are completely baffled. I th I think my only comments are from brand new players that like don't know what a sea urchin is and they're like, how do I do this? <laughs> it just feels like everyone quit the game and that's pretty So, <laughs> I'm Sir SirTapTap. Uh, join us in our Discord, sirtaptap.com slash Discord or there'll be a link in the description as always. Good night and happy fishing. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You gotta say that, it's YouTube law. They. They come and get you. Susan, she breaks into your house if you don't say it. Please don't kill me, Susan.